Hi, Billy here, and welcome to my video channel right here on the YouTube website. For those of you watching here on YouTube, welcome. For those of you watching on my blog, welcome to you. Uh, we're going to get right into the commentary in one second. Again, after you watch this video or any of the videos in the archives, feel free to leave a comment, pro or negative. Uh, I can take either one. I'm thank I'm thankful for either one because the negative ones will make me check out my opinion, and if I'm if I believe my opinion is correct, it'll make me even more committed to that conviction. And if my opinion is wrong, I want to change it. And of course, the encouraging comments in make me help me to just be encouraged. We all need to be encouraged from time to time. I'm recording this video on Monday night, January twenty fourth. 2011. Today was the March for Life in Washington, D.C., which takes place every year. This morning I was switching the radio around and I came to Neil Bortz, his talk show. Neil has been great on some issues us on the right care about, but he has been terrible on the right to life issue. He supported the murder of Terry Scheiser, who was basically starved to death. This morning he said this about the March for Life. It's a march against the rights of women. That's what Neil said. It's a march against the rights of women. Excuse me, the time to decide you don't want a baby is not when you are expecting one. It's time men and women start behaving right. So-called safe sex is like safe sin. No sin is safe. But let's get back to the right to life issue and the abortion issue. Just a few days ago, this last Saturday, January 22nd, 2011, was the anniversary of that horrible court ruling that made abortion on demand the law of the land here in the United States of America. Since 1973, nearly 50 million fetuses have been denied the the right to life. Thanks to a single Supreme Court decision that withdrew their protection as persons, subjecting them to a kind of child abuse. Let's think of it this way. 50 million branches of family trees cut off. 50 million regrets over what might have been 50 million babies who could have brought joy of sadness and a future that might have contributed to the human race snuffed out. There are many souls who are hoping, praying, and working to see the Roe vs. Wade ruling become history. Just like that other terrible ruling, the Dred Scott ruling, that said slaves were not human beings. Those of us who are pro-life must not forget this has become a political issue, but it is mainly a spiritual and moral issue. The reason children are being murdered is we as a nation have forgotten God. Let's pray a spiritual change takes place that brings our nation to the point of seeing all human life as a gift from God. Until then, may God have mercy on our nation. I'll see you. Until next time, I'm Billy.